No, I'm just getting some banchan. It's like a buffet of delicious banchan. <laughs> In Korea, any city known for drinking undoubtedly has the best hangover cures, and Tongyong is no exception. If you wander through Soho Shijang, you'll notice signs selling something called Shirak Gukbap. Shirak is a southern dialect for Shiregi, which is dried radish green soup. However, in Tongyong, they do things a little bit differently. For about 6,000 won, you get a nice, warm, healing bowl of Shirak Gukbap and the long tables surround a buffet of unlimited self-serve banchan. It's a unique style of eating that I've only seen in this tiny marketplace in Tongyong. On the table, you can also find banga leaf powder and JP powder, two spices found in Korean cuisine on the southern Gyeongsando coast. Eating a meal here can feel completely different than eating in any other place in Korea. I don't know, I'm just getting some bancha. It's like a buffet of delicious bancha. <laughs> Definitely good place on kimchi. I'm gonna do a lot of buchu. This is like customizable oh. soup, eh? Buchu. Oh. my soup. gochu. Chili pepper. And then some chop. Oh. <laughs> Oh, she put, uh, what's that? I don't even want to eat it because it looks so beautiful. It's like, wow. Oh, yeah, that's nice. Actually, I'm gonna do more bangai. You smell that, it just smells so sick. And JP Garu. They have JP Garu and bangai. This is like, ah, oh, this is amazing. <laughs> So these guys, these are flavors like you can't have anywhere else in Korea, man. It's you can't find this in Seoul, you know. Guys, oh my God, the kimchi here is so good too. Everything is good. My style of eating is really unique. Because it feels almost like more community. I feel like I'm eating breakfast with other people. I know. <laughs> <laughs> Where are you guys from? Uh, from Seoul? Ah, uh, nice. From. So, how, how long have you been here in Hongyong? Just one night. Just one night. night. Where, I'm from, I'm from Dejan. Dejan, Sara. Dejan. And it's from Namwon. Namwon? Yeah. A bit strange too. Mm. Yeah. <laughs> Is, um, it is, it is cool. yeah. It's really cool. It feels like we're in a different country. <laughs> it's like all our family. Yeah. <laughs> it's kind of intimidating when you first walk in. When I come down here, I always buy JP Garu at the market or. <laughs> <laughs> this area, Gangnam area. Gurye, there's a place in Gurye. Have you ever been to Gurye? They have. Uh, what is that called? Uh, Sugure Gukbap. Yeah, I really recommend trying. It's really good. And they add a JP Garu. This is the he this is heaven, dude. Joka, some rice. Myo of course, Miyochi Joka here. Miyochi is the famous dish here. Many different kinds of Joka. That one's strong. strong. Yeah. Yeah. 
Ooh. Like pimento strong or spicy strong? Salty. Oh really? Yeah. Not not really pimento strong. You guys travel a lot in Korea? My wife. Mm. Oh, wow. yeah. Me too. <laughs> wow, my cheeks so young. I really love this shirakis papaya. But the kimchi here is really good. Because you are from different place living in Korea. Yeah. 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 I'm from Namon. Namon and Dejo. This is delicious. Wow. Um, when you add the JP Garu, this bowl of soup just transforms. It's so good. I really feel the hangover leaving my body. <laughs> If I lived in Tongyong, I would come here at least once a week for breakfast. Mm. Mm. I don't know what the deal is with this, but there are many restaurants in the market that are like this style. You sit across from people. My bowl is empty. I could eat another bowl of this. The thing, man, like every time I come to Tongyong, the food is... If you were to ask me like one city that has the most distinct food culture in Korea, definitely I would say Tongyong. Like, it's, it's almost to a point where if you come and eat here, it's like not even... You're, it's not what people think of Korean food. You know? I would say like there's different, there's more of a cultural impact from yeah. maybe from other countries yeah. as well. When you come to the southern part of Korea, there's people still using it. The only time I've ever had it was in Chuapa. Yeah, that's what it's most famous for. But on Jeju Island, they used to take JP leaves and mix it with doenjang and, and then eat it with mulhe and um, I don't know. I'm not. I don't know the full history of it. But I do know they used to use JP and mix it with Wingjan instead of Samjan. Instead of making Samjan. So it's weird, like, I show a lot of people the JP Garu and Banga It, and they always say, oh, I wonder if it's because there's a lot of, like, Southeast Asian migrant workers in the South. But that's not the case. This is really Korean food. Um, and there's history there. Like, if you, if you had nothing spicy, and you had jimpy yeah. that makes sense because it's fresh and like yeah, it cools it down way yeah. too ugly. Yeah. 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 Ah, this is awesome. I feel totally refreshed. It's a good place. Sophie and Andy went home, and before I left, there was one more snack that I had to try. Very famous Tongyong food. This is Tongyong Gimbap. It's really interesting the way they do this. This is actually meant for takeout. And basically, they take the omok and some seafood and put it outside of the gimbap. So you just have like gimari, like this. 
and you're supposed to make like little skewers with some seafood like this, right? So if you think about it, this is perfect for fishermen because the gimbap is not going to go bad until they're out while they're out on the ocean. Really, this makes perfect sense. The perfect snack when you're out on the ocean, and um, yeah, it's a really unique experience. Mushy soil. Really delicious. So guys, I'm gonna be honest. I like this a little bit more than regular gimbap because um, I don't like the gimbap with all the stuff in it. This is more simple. It's just literally rice with amok and delicious. Mmm. With tom yum. No, 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 mushy soil. It's like you're, you're stabbing your gimbap. It's like deconstructed gimbap. It's really cool. And then if you're on the go, this makes perfect sense. I was so happy to show Andy Tongyong. Tongyong Matchip. Tongyong is one of the best cities for food in my opinion. Every time I come back here, I always have a good time. I always have fun. And this time it was the same thing. It's very successful. People are so kind here. And the food is so unique. And Andy and I were talking this morning. It was like, it's like Tongyong food is almost like a different cuisine. It feels very different. Beautiful city and a beautiful place with really, really warm hearted people. And I can't wait to come back again.